The Spell Storm Scepter Class 1 Bypass Separator with Silt Capacity is a highly efficient unit for removing hydrocarbons, fuel and oil, silt and heavy metals as sediment bound. They're compliant with European Standard BSEN 858. They're used extensively for larger catchment areas associated with supermarkets, lorry parks, motorways, and in conjunction with sustainable drainage systems, or as they're termed, SUDS. It is an important element in any SUDS treatment train to remove silt and pollutants at source rather than blocking up attenuation systems or downstream ponds that are difficult to desludge. The storm scepter is designed to treat the first flush of the rainfall events, which contains the major proportion of pollutants. Due to their efficiency, the average hydrocarbon content in the outlet under the European Standard Test is a staggeringly low level of 0.67 mg per litre, 7.5 times better than the European Standard of 5 mg per litre in the outlet and 90-95% to removal of silt. Surface water enters the first chamber, where gross pollutants, trash and silt are settled out. The hydrocarbons rise to the surface and are skimmed off by the skim pipe. The hydrocarbons are transferred to the main separation chamber. The lighter than water, fuel and oil rise to the surface and are retained. The flow from the cleanest stone in the separation chamber then passes through a coalescer unit or units. The coalescers have a high volume and are highly efficient in removing the finer globules of fuel and oil. In storm conditions, the level in the first chamber rises and the storm flow passes over the weir to the outlet pipe, leaving the contents in the main separation chamber undisturbed. When the Spell Automatic Alarm Monitoring System detects the hydrocarbons have reached the oil storage limit, it will alarm to indicate servicing is required. Servicing simply requires sucking out the silt in the first chamber and removing the fuel and oil from the surface in the separation chamber. Once the pollutants are removed, the coalescer unit can be removed and cleaned with normal pressure water and repositioned. If the separator has not been serviced for some time and it contains large quantities of silt and hydrocarbons, it is preferable to remove the coalescer prior to sucking the contents out. The coalescer can then be cleaned ahead of the separator ensuring the pollutants are washed out and flow back into the separator.